I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2018 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 8. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there. Okay, so let's jump straight into question 8. Okay, this over here is question 8 and this question is setting us on angles. So let's read the question first. In the figure below, ABE is an equilateral triangle and BCDE is a rhombus. Angle EAC goes to 38 degrees. Find angle DEB. Okay, so now that we've read the question, let's highlight the key information. So ABE is an equilateral triangle, BCDE is a rhombus, angle EAC equals to 38 degrees, and they are telling us to find angle DEB. Okay. So now they've read the question, let's analyze this figure. Okay, so they're telling us that ABE is actually an equilateral triangle. So equilateral triangles, all the sides are the same length. Okay. And rhombuses, all the sides are the same length. Okay, that means that the side of an equilateral triangle is the same length as a rhombus. Because the equilateral triangles the length right is fitting exactly on the rhombus can you see it's exactly on the rhombus so that's why the length of the equilateral triangle is the same as the rhombus okay okay for the equilateral triangle another property is that all of its angles are 60 degrees so these are must knows okay all of the angles are 60 degrees so you got to know that. Okay, so they're telling us that angle EAC is equal to 38 degrees. So this angle over here. Okay. So in order to find DAB, right, we actually found something out before doing that. Can you see it? When I was labeling the equal lines, do you see triangle ABC? Both of these lines are equal now, right? So what does that mean? It is an isosceles triangle. Do you know what is an isosceles triangle? I think you know that. So isosceles triangle means that two sides, the lengths are the same, right? And then the base angles, the length are the same. Let me draw it a little bit bigger. Okay. So basically, there's a triangle here. Okay. These two lengths are the same. Okay. Two sides, the lengths are the same. And then these two, the base angles are also the same. That is what isosceles means, okay? Okay, so I think you understand that. So, when triangle ABC is equal to an isosceles triangle, we can find angle BAC, right? So, which is actually 60 degrees over here. Can you see? So, the 60 degrees over here. Let me, let me erase it and draw it a bit bigger. So the 60 degrees, this whole angle is 60 degrees, right? So this whole angle is 60 degrees. Okay. So I hope you understand that. So this will actually help us to solve this question. So this whole angle, 60 degrees. Okay. So I'm going to take 60 degrees minus 38 degrees in order to find angle BAC, which is this angle. Okay? So angle BAC, see this thing, B, A, and then C. So this angle here. So it will give me 22 degrees. Remember this is an isosceles triangle, right? Triangle ABC. So basically, what that's a actually important thing, I told you that the base angles are equal, right? So when this is 22 degrees, this is also 22 degrees, right? So angle BAC, this angle here, is equal to angle BCA. Okay, so let me erase this off. Draw it a bit smaller here. 16 degrees, okay. So now I'm going to draw in red color, okay? So this angle over here, it is 22 degrees. And this angle over here, it is also 22 degrees. Okay, now that I have found that, I'm going to find angle A, B, C. You know why? Because we can. So 
in angles question right find all the angles that you can find okay so i'm going to find angle a b and c and another reason why is because when we find this angle i can minus off with this 60 degrees over here so that i know that these two lines are parallel right because in a rhombus the lines are parallel to each other so this is parallel to each other and this is parallel to this so that's another property that we need to use so when i found this angle right we know that between two parallel lines basically the interior angles is they add up to 180 degrees i've explained the interior angles in another video as well okay so they add up to 180 degrees right so when we add up to 180 degrees we can basically take 180 degrees minus this angle over here that we found in order to find angle d e b so that's really easy to solve so that is why i'm finding a b c so when i find a b c i'm basically taking 180 degrees because a sum of a triangle is 180 degrees minus these two 22 degrees so it will give me 136 degrees okay so this whole angle here is 136 degrees okay so now i'm going to find angle ebc ebc which is basically this angle here so 136 minus 60 degrees it will give me 76 degrees okay so now i'm going to draw in blue color okay so blue color here so this is basically 76 degrees Okay, so now we know that the interior angles add up to 180 degrees, right? So we can find angle DE by DEB by taking 180 degrees minus 76 degrees. Okay, it will give us 104 degrees. So angle DEB is equal to 104 degrees. So 104 degrees is the answer for this question, question 8. And I hope you understand my explanation for this question on angle and i hope you learn many new properties and if you do not if you didn't i hope you can revise some of those properties and i hope you learn something new and thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye